thank you and welcome to my channel. This is definitely a video that I was hoping I wouldn't have to experience this, but at the same time, I'm not surprised. So you could kind of tell from my beta test videos, my HCG was low. Um, they did double from Monday to Wednesday, but they weren't great. They were at nine and they were at 20. And my lines on my pregnancy test were not getting any darker. So I was still tracking my temperatures with, the, you know, I have a temp drop and I also have a oral thermometer that I was using. So, and because I just switched over to the temp drop, they say to track the first two cycles that you're using temp drop with an oral thermometer side by side, so just to on both methods, my temp uh, plummeted on Saturday and it didn't go below cover line. So I figured, okay, maybe, but I compared it against my temp temperatures when I was pregnant with um, the baby that we lost at 16 weeks and it wasn't looking good. So I started bleeding on Saturday night and I took a test Sunday morning. My lines were barely there, mostly non-existent. So I know the term here is a uh, chemical pregnancy and I can't really make heads or tails out of it. Uh, I, I, my husband recently had a doctor's appointment where he got all of his blood tested and he did come up with a low uh, vitamin D3. And, you know, so I told him, well, you know, he's recovering from getting COVID in November. And, you know, that we know affects sperm counts and for male fertility. So maybe that's why we didn't get pregnant at all in December. And then, you know, with this go around, maybe between the COVID and his um, low vitamin D, maybe that, you know, yeah, we got, we got pregnant, but it didn't keep, I can't make heads or tails of it any, any way I try to rationalize it. And that's really all I'm trying to do is try to make sense out of it because I'm, that's, that's what I do is I am not, I'm not super emotional and I will try to analyze something and, you know, try to make logic out of it. And I mean, I've had some, I did tell a couple of friends when I found out I was pregnant with this baby and, um, you know, so they've been checking in on me and the weird part is, is because I, I didn't see my pregnancy test lines progress to a darker line and everything. I feel like emotionally I was prepared for this a little bit more. And so I was already having some fears and worries about the health of this pregnancy. So in the end, I, I was honestly just praying and saying, if this means that we don't get to take a baby home in October, please take the baby because I don't want to go through another loss like I did. And I'm still sad, but it's, I feel like out of the outcomes, if this wasn't going to result in a baby, this is probably the best one because technically I was only three days late. And so this shouldn't affect us trying next month. And because we're, we were set up with our, reproductive endocrinologist to do a clomid cycle this run or and that's not necessarily because I'm not ovulating that's more because of the number of kids we want to have we want to have two more we we also know that my husband's 37 I'm 39 we're not getting any younger our I mean and clearly I've already had two losses when prior to this, I had none. I had gotten pregnant five times and had five babies. 
so I, I I don't even understand it why you know even the doctors are like oh no you should have no problems getting pregnant and everything and you know I'm glad that I was already on the RE's books prior to any of this um, because sometimes it can take a while to get in with a consult I mean they test your hormones they test your like and each proce procedure it's been like they want to do something for each cycle so we met with the RE in July and then we were gonna do and I had already done the hormone test back in June so we did get pregnant in August but if we didn't then we were gonna do you know other ultrasounds and testing and then the next cycle so like you're talking like three months so I don't think it's premature for somebody especially if you're over 35 that you just want to be seen because if you do have problems on the way you want to have that resource in the back pocket because this can take a while after we lost my daughter you know in November my OB told me feel free to go ahead and get in with the RE right away. And we did, and I'm so glad we did because we consulted with the RE in November. So we had a plan of action and that not much was done. I mean, because he said, this is what we would plan for. We want to plan for you to finish this, wait for your cycle. They were doing, they were testing my HCG to make sure it went back down to zero. And so once it went back down to zero, and he wanted a full cycle of just me healing. And so we did that. And that's why in January we did the saline ultrasound, but we weren't even gonna try we any fertility interventions until February. And so now we're at February. So where do we go from here? Well, I called the RE's office today Told them I got my cycle and they told me they will call me back before four o'clock today and they want to schedule a baseline ultrasound this has also completely changed um, our plans for when my husband needs to be around because now uh, I'm probably gonna ovulate you know the same week that I was gonna have that ultrasound and my husband changed his work schedule around so he could accommodate the ultrasound appointment that we don't need anymore. So um, he had to cancel that and there's still a chance he may not be in town when I'm ovulating and I don't know how we're gonna figure that out. Like, I feel like crap right now. I don't know if anybody can tell, but I feel like crap. I, I haven't had my water today and I know I've been like so, um, preachy about hydration and everything. I haven't had my, not even my first thing of water and it's, I should have had it by in a half hour. I So I'll probably guzzle my 40 ounces of water pretty soon. Just otherwise if I feel like I'm off track, then I'll just beat myself up about it because that's how I am. I'm the further back behind I get in the goals I wanna achieve I beat myself up about it till finally I pick myself and I up and I try to do it. In fact, I even got off of my workout routine this whole past week because I didn't want to do anything to potentially like mess up uh, the pregnancy. So at least I guess I have some sort of reassurance that I, there was nothing physical I did to cause the miscarriage. It just probably wasn't either the egg or the sperm or whatever it was not good. And I just have to deal with that and I think I would take this a lot harder if like this was like our last shot ever and but you know we'll see and I, I my husband took it harder than me but I think it's because I was sort of emotionally prepping myself along the way as I saw that the test lines weren't getting darker as I saw my temperature plummet. And so then finally by Saturday night, it's like, okay, this confirms what I suspected. Otherwise I was probably still gonna have anxiety and worry that the baby wasn't healthy because I just had that internal feeling. I don't know, but 
like I said, this is my version of feeling like crap. I don't know what other people's version is, but I have a job. I, I gotta, I still gotta get crap done and it sucks. So it's not that I enjoy visits and I mean, Saturday morning, I spent most of the morning in bed. I did not want to get up out of bed. That's how much my temperature dropping affected me. And I even started to convince myself, maybe I shouldn't even track my fertility or my body's signals because it'll just stress me out. But after this, maybe I, I will continue it because emotionally it prepared me. I mean, I, it's always a catch-22. You can't do the right thing no matter what you do. So, I will say through this entire journey that my husband and I know each other better now. When I got pregnant with our son, we weren't trying, we were just dating. And in fact, I think even when I told him, I'm like, you don't have to be around if you don't want to be. And, but he wanted to be and I never once pressured him us to get married I just told him I wanted us to you know him to be around because that was important for our son so I never I never told him or pressured him for us to get married to get engaged to move in together it was all it was all what he wanted so and then when he did propose and getting married I mean that's That's one thing because we've even had we've even had the discussion of are you sure you want to be with me if I'm getting older and I can't have more and he told me I think it was yesterday that he wouldn't picture being with anybody else because even if he could have a bunch of kids with somebody else he wouldn't trade me for anything because yeah, he might have more kids, but he said he might be miserable because it wouldn't be me. But going through losses, it definitely changes you. And it's an opportunity for the couples to lean on each other. And we fell in love with each other because we were just the best of friends and we would talk, we'd talk more than anything. And, you know, our happiest moments aren't when we're doing stuff. It's when we're just hanging out and we're just talking. We don't even have to have the TV on. Our, our company is, honestly, what brings us together is just hanging out with each other, talking to each other, being with each other. And we joke and all the little inside jokes and that's what matters and you know when you're going through this and you do have those thoughts and feelings of like well if you were with somebody younger they could probably have more kids and knowing that they'd still want you that means so much because until I met him I did not know what that feeling was That actually gets me more teary-eyed because he's worth it. I have this channel to talk about because I'm, this isn't an easy journey and it's where there's anybody watching. It's okay if I'm providing some comfort to someone else in this world that they know they're not alone. No feeling. But I will keep everybody posted along this process and when I hear back from the doctors and know what what we're doing now because three days ago we had a completely different plan uh we'll go from there mm -hmm.